Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Brian here again. And in this video, I wanna talk about the top three things that helped me and I think will help you pass the top step trader, step one and step two of the combine to become a funded trader. Number one, focus on capital defense management. Of course, main focus was on capital defense management, aka risk management. And what I mean by that was, I had $1,000 of capital to play with and risk for the daily loss limit and also the weekly loss limit because I, I had the same rules for step one and step two. So for the $50,000 combine account, I had $1,000 of risk. So I actually cut that in half to only use $500 a day. So allowing myself at least two to three trades a day to make, uh, to make some profit, to give myself a chance to actually make some trades. And doing my, while doing my best to adhere to that $500 uh, daily stop, stop loss risk that I had set for myself. So I had actually used a capital defense management calculator where I would calculate my risk based on my entry with giving myself, based on only wanting to risk X amount a day on the account, say I risk only $500 a day like I just mentioned, uh, that would give me about $167 per day to trade with, I believe. And based on uh, the entry that I would have, I would have suggested stops, say maybe like seven or eight points maximum on the NQ to give myself three trades to be able to uh, execute on a setup that I would see um, to give myself at least uh, three chances because my win rate was actually around 68%. So every two out of three trades I was winning or in other words, every one out of three trades I would lose on. So that math just made sense based on my strategy and based on my personality, based on my results that I was seeing. And of course, I avoided trading this account in the higher volatility markets because having a tight stop loss when the VIX is above 50 is extremely hard not to have to widen your stop up to like 10, 15, 20 points on a trade unless you get a really solid entry. But it, I decided to not trade the higher volatile days and focus on my smaller account that I trade micros with. One last thing about capital defense management, uh, for the number of contracts you're allowed in the $50,000 account, it was five lots and I never traded five lots. Uh, typically I would only start with one and if I was up 100, 150, I would move to two, only if the strategy or the setup suggested that it could be worth taking that extra risk like I mentioned previously just now. And if I lost in the two lot trade, I would move back to a one lot uh, to avoid digging the hole deeper. So um, you really have to earn the ability to trade with more position size. So it's important to know that. Number two, I got paid often and added only to winners. So typically when I would start out the day trading the combine account, I would try to get paid on the first one or two trades, $100, $150, $200, $200 just to build up some cushion on, on the risk capital that I allowed myself for that day. And what this helped mainly with my psychology to have a little bit of a profit cushion so that way now I can be extremely patient, maybe end the day uh, early if I made $200, but it helps me identify uh, better opportunities that I know have a high probability of working and maybe sizing in an extra contract with that to be able to capitalize more on those trades. And uh, the big thing was is only adding to the winners. So for example, if I was in a long trade and I saw the market structure continuing to the upside, I would only add uh, on the previous test of the previous highs on the market structure. So if there was a pullback, I would add to it and just move myself up appropriately to where it was never actually below my average. So no matter what, I was gonna make money. But if I got stopped out, I wouldn't make as much profit, but the, pro the potential profit was significantly more. And finally, number three, I quit trading when I was ahead or not trading well at all. If you're new to trading or if you've been trading for a while, you probably agree with me that being successful at trading is getting to know yourself really well, to know when you should keep trading or when you should stop, close the platform, close the brokerage, and take the day off. Um, my experience is, so when I was up the first, like the first 10 minutes or so, I was up $200, $300. A lot of times I would just close down Topset Traders platform, Thinkorswim, like everything 
just so I wasn't tempted to take another trade. And there are also other days where I would be up two, three, four hundred dollars and I would keep trading. And then next thing you know, I would be down that much and hitting my stop max loss for the day. Uh, and I actually did hit, I did break my capital defense management rules twice, almost hitting the max loss, um, just above the $1,000 daily loss limit where I had to actually take the rest of the week off because it was the weekly loss limit that I couldn't break. So it happened on a Monday, I think, or even a Tuesday one time, I had to wait till the following Monday to take another trade again. Um, and because of that, it made me be super patient and really hone in on my rules and not break them and just follow my trading plan. Don't let the emotions get the best of me um, and bounce back with a clear head the following week. All right guys, so that wraps up the top three things that I think, it definitely helped me pass Topside Trader step one and step two, the combine, and I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to ha help answer them. Just drop a comment on this video. I appreciate the, a thumbs up on the video as well if you got any value from this. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click the logo that's popping up now. And if you're interested at all in signing up for the Tops of Trader Combine, I left the link below in the description here to get 20% off uh, if you're interested. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.